The next task that we want to accomplish is to make the first enemy fly out um, from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen. And uh, the first enemy that we're going to have fly out is this butterfly one. Okay. And so how we're going to do this is we are going to go to events. And when the green flag is clicked, what do I want this butterfly one to do? Well, I want him to hide. I want him to go away, right? not to appear. Because as the bird is flying across the mountain in the intro, I do not want this butterfly to show. And then the way that we're going to make the butterfly pop out is we are going to have a control statement over here in the backdrops. Okay. And so the way we could set it up is we can get a when backdrop switches to level and then we are going to say wait for a certain amount of seconds let's say maybe two seconds and then I am going to go to events and broadcast a message called butterfly one okay and so what this is going to do is it's going to send a message to butterfly one that's going to make him appear and start flying across the screen so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say when I receive butterfly one then I want to go to a certain location and I want him to appear right here on the top right of the screen right? so um, yeah I guess this is a good time to talk about the screen and the coordinate system if we go ahead and look here under backdrops there is a coordinate system on the screen it looks like this okay there's an x-axis the x-axis is horizontal the y-axis is vertical and the x-axis has 0 in the center, it has 240 on the far right side, and negative 240 on the far left side. Uh, y-axis is also 0 in the center, and it's negative 180 on the bottom and 180 at the top. So any point on the screen has both a, has a unique x and y value. Right? So let's say this point right here, well its x value is 200 because that's where it crosses on the x-axis right? and its y-value is negative 100 because that's where it crosses on the y-axis so we can use this x and y coordinate system to tell Scratch where to put these sprites okay? I want my butterfly to appear somewhere right here in the top right corner so the x that I'm going to use is going to be like 240 the y I'm going to use is going to be, I don't know, maybe 90 somewhere around there right so then that means the bird is, the butterfly is going to start here so let's go ahead and check that out and see if that works let me go to backdrops we can go back here and on butterfly one I'm going to go to my code and I'm going to say go to under motion go to XY and the X that we used was 240 but I'm going to put 250 so it appears a little bit further off of the screen and I'm going to use 90 right there right and then what do I want to do? Well, I want him to fly off of the screen. Okay? And I want him to keep flying off of the screen until he reaches the far left side of the screen. So uh, one way that we can do that is we could say repeat until. And then under sensing, we could say touching edge. Right? So what this is basically saying is keep on flying and that's the code that we're going to put inside here until it touches the edge and when it does touch the edge then we're going to stop flying and under looks I'm going to hide him All right. okay now how do we make him fly to the right side of the screen well we can go here to motion and we can say change x by and we don't want to change it by a positive number we want to change it by a negative number because remember his X is going to be 240 or 250 and then if we change it by 5 that means it's going to become 235, 230, 225, 220 and it's going to make its way um, to the left side of the screen by following the X axis. Right? Okay so if we go ahead and try that I can play this and remember what we have here is wait two seconds uh, broadcast butterfly one and you can see here that this butterfly one is not appearing right? and why is he not appearing well the reason why is because when he uh, first starts oh I'm sorry we forgot the we forgot the show we gotta show him when we receive butterfly the what butterfly one signal 
So let's try that again. And you can see here that the butterfly is not appearing, right? And why is that? Well, the reason why is because when it goes to this location right here, he is touching the edge, right? He's touching the right edge. He's touching this side. And it does not do this because he is touching the edge and it hides him automatically. Right? So what we need to do is we need to first fly him a little bit off of the right side of the screen so that he's no longer touching the edge. And we, the way we could do that is we could say repeat for a little bit and we could fly like that. right? And that works. right? So you see how that worked out? First it flies him off of the edge, then it repeats until touching edge. And then when he touches the edge on the left side, then we hide him. All right. um, okay. And and so one more thing we want to do is uh, animate the butterfly so that he's flapping his wings. And I'll uh, leave that as a challenge exercise, and you can do that yourself. Um, another challenge exercise here is going to be to also make the butterfly two and the butterfly three fly out after butterfly one. Right. So they come out like in a row, like a line of ducks, like right, flying. Um, in a line.